We're going to Stillwater, Oklahoma a week from today. And that's always how we think. Uh, we'll evaluate. There's some good things that happened. Um, overtime match with Lugo. That was big. Wilkie digging himself out of a corner. He was a little bit um, stagnant, maybe slow, a little bit of maybe a funk in him or something. Um, he got going, though, and when he gets going, he's pretty good. And the other thing is, uh, you know, I think Warner, I mean, Warner wrestled high pace and a lot of points he scored. So widen that gap, some major decisions there that are big, big down the stretch here coming up for this postseason. And then Marinelli, what can you say about that match? And uh, the celebration today for Eli Stickley. Mariah's in the building. She's a big part of our program. Her family's here. Uh, there's a lot of Stickleys here, and, and then Alex Marinelli delivering in a, in a big match. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm getting kind of emotional. Um, you, know, um, you know, I dreamed about that. Um, I told Paul Glenn after the match, you know, I, I dreamed of hitting that, and, uh, you know, it means a lot that they honored him, and uh, he deserves it. He probably doesn't want that. I know uh, Eli's a humble guy, and he's probably like, you know, why is that on the map? But um, he deserves it, and you know, it was it was a good thing. You know, kept it all in perspective. Uh, you know, I knew what Eli would want. Um, you know, and that's how I kind of went about my emotions. Um, you know, he wouldn't want me to be sad and um, you know emotional before the match. I knew uh, when I was out on that mat, and uh, the Stickleys came out. Uh, she, you know, hoped Stickley hugged me, and I said, "Let's rock and roll." Like, you know, it's it's game time. You know, it's. Uh, Biggest match of your life, so.